Hello everyone, my name is Griff, and today we are going to go over the new updates and announcements that are coming to the game of Dragonly Lost. I'm just going to go over them in order of how they were announced. We have a new event, some mana spirals, a version update, so we're going to just dive right into it. So, starting with the new event. A new event, Sands of Revelations, is coming soon. This event, Sands of Revelation, will start at 2am on September 11th, which is tomorrow. Uh, this was announced yesterday. But I didn't want to cover it until today because we usually get more information and we did get some interesting information with this event. This is a limited time event where you must defend your gate while defeating hordes of attacking enemies. You can get items you you can get you can get items used to unlock shared skill as a reward for this event. That doesn't seem radically correct. So be sure to participate. Yep. Seeking lost memories, Nadina and I visit a festival head by the people in the sands, and while I keen can while I can the need to traveling incognito, I truly continue this mummery in a fashion show. Interesting. I don't know. She she talks in a weird way. This is the clearly Nefaria talking. Fee and now Imperial soldiers press the attack. I fear my memories may be lost time evermore. So this event is about um, Nefaria and the Dean. However, if you look at the in-game preview, there's um, there's this bird man right here um so people were really confused by what the heck was going on with this they weren't sure who this guy was maybe this was not nadine I, I didn't think that but you can see him he's very impressive um and if clearly has a new outfit and a new alternate form that we're probably gonna get probably gonna be summonable and then today they tweeted this morning and they said in Sam's Revelation event you can play defensive battles on beginners, standard expert difficulties using autoplay, you can use them on master and EX and co-op, give flames and water tones as glory rewards. So usually what that means is that one of them is going to be water type, one of them is going to be fire type. Um, as you can see here this looks a lot like the Fae 2 map, this one doesn't, but this one looks a lot like the Fae 2 map and you can even see the use of the uh, arrows that were used in that event. If you don't know um, it looks like a shared skill, but it's actually a special skill that everyone has, even in co-op, that they can use to clear waves. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty interesting that they're bringing this specifically back for this event. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work in the context, but we're going to find out. And lastly for this event so far, we did get a tweet about the story, and in the story you can see... Uh, Nefaria before this event with Nadine, and you can see her after the event, and then you can see the Birdman again, and his name is Horus, or their name is Horus. Um, I believe this is a, a god in some form of mythology. Um, then will you fight without fear for your people once more? So I think he's trying to, I think the story is mostly about him inspiring Nefaria, but we're going to find out. We are going to find out all that tomorrow, because that's when the event releases. Going into the next bit of news, there was a version update. It was just a bug fix version update. So we're just going to look over this quickly. Version 1.23.1 will address the following ongoing issues you may install right now. Thank you for participating. We are sending a tenfold voucher, so another tenfold voucher. Pretty good, just for a bug fix. Uh, the tenfold voucher will not be distributed out until the automatic update. So, issues addressed. Skills and attack sound effects would not play for certain adventures or enemies. Okay. Certain motions that play when a skill is used could not be cancelled by using another skill. Interesting. When playing Tardis Rast Quest solo on standard extra difficulty, defeating a shadow inside of a portal with an attack from a port skill will result in the controlled adventure not being able to return to the main arena, making progress impossible. Yeah. So I knew this was a huge issue, I was wondering when they were going to fix it. Turns out they fixed it right now. And it turns out that they're fixing a bunch of other issues with attack cancelling and attack animations. So that's pretty good if you're trying to do some animation cancelling. I don't really tend to play DL that way, but I know there are people who do. The following ongoing issues were determined to be intended behavior and therefore not an issue. So it has been removed from the list of the update on the ongoing issues. And I am notorious rather than standard difficulty. The allied AI adventurers who wield sword, daggers, blades, axes, and lances attack different enemies than the ones who control the adventure is targeting. So, it seems like the melee adventurers will go after one, and all you other adventurers and the one you're controlling will go after the other one. Interesting that they're saying this is intended behavior. It's kind of weird that this is one of the only fights in the game where uh, they're saying it's intended behavior that you can't control the AI the way you want to. It's a little weird. But, 
All this is pretty basic. Just a free 10 for voucher. It's really the only thing of note here. And the fixes to the two Agito fights, but even though this one isn't a fix, but there's information on it. And lastly, and most important for me personally, we have new flame mana spirals. So adding mana spirals to more adventures. The sixth standard circle, the mana spiral will be added to the certain adventures starting at 2 a.m. on September 11th, which is tomorrow. These adventures affected this time are described below. We have four star Vanessa and three star Marty. So let's look at Vanessa very quickly. Vanessa has Starlight Geezer. Deal flame damage to enemies directly ahead and grants the user immunity to knockback for 15 seconds. Let's quickly bring up the Dragalia Lost Wiki and let's see what we have for their current skills and current passives and stuff. We're gonna quickly go to Flame, we're gonna go to Axe, and we're gonna open up Vanessa. And we're gonna switch to Sword, which there's a billion of, but we're gonna go to the three star Marty. Okay, so. Here we have current Vanessa. Current Vanessa just does two hits of 250 and flame damage directly ahead. She does not get the immunity to knockback that she now does, which is pretty good actually. Immunity to knockback is super helpful, especially with an axe, because now that you can charge while moving, if you get hit, you can continue the charge. So pretty useful for that. Um, as far as her skill two goes, it seems to say the exact same deal. Flame damage directly ahead and reduces their defense by 5% for 10 seconds exactly what this says here so this is probably just going to be a mod increase and this is probably gonna have a huge mod increase she has always been one of these characters that does a huge lot of damage so i'm interested to see how they deal with her and how they buff her up now um she is one of the only flame five stars i think flame sorry not flame stars, flame axes to get promoted uh or have this mana spiral so she will be passing ramona um it's kind of interesting. They didn't put any uh, burn in her kit, so that's another thing that's kind of interesting. But with how prevalent burn is, that's not a terrible thing at the moment. But yeah, looking at basically just mod increases and the grant to knockback. Pretty standard stuff. We have a co ability and a chain co ability the same. Okay, here we go. Now we have an actual real ability. Okay, this is a new, brand new ability. So her normal one is increases force strike by 40%. Let's see. Increases force strike by 40% damage using Scarlet Geyser will grant the user Scarlet Warrior effect. When this effect is active, the user's next force strike will do additional damage with damage being increased further against the foe with reduced defense. Okay, this effect cannot stack and will be consumed on use. So, use your first skill, you get a powerful force strike. On top of that, if they're affected by the uh, defense reduction in your second skill, you do even more damage than you would even on top of the their defenses being lowered. So that's really good. That's super, super useful because I'm pretty sure she that's going to be her combo is going to be using four strikes anyway. But now she has an even better reason to use four strikes because she gets a special four strike effect. Uh, I'm hoping this is one of the well animated ones where it shows something funny happening because Vanessa is kind of like a brawler and I think that'd be really funny if they somehow worked that into her kit. Uh, she has potent stun res, but she normally just has normal stun res here, 100%. And then last offense buff strength by 30% here, but now it is a juicy 60% buff for 15 seconds, which isn't too bad, but it, last offense in general is kind of horrible because it's only once per quest and it's pretty niche, but 60% is definitely not to be sneezed at at all. Super helpful, especially if you have Mars, you know, you can go into dragon form, you do a bunch of attacks, buff them up, get out of dragon form, and just spam your skills and do a bunch of damage. Should be fun. Next we have Marty. Marty has Spiral Hunter, deals uh, flame damage directly ahead and inflicts burn. If I remember correctly, his first skill does not inflict burn. No, it does not, so they added burn to that. Should be interesting. And then they also buffed his shield. Grants all teammates a one use shield that nullifies damage less than 20% of the user's maximum HP and increases their strength by 15%. This did not have a strength buff at all before, this was just the shield. So that's not bad at all, they're giving him a strength buff and inflicting burn. Even if his mods aren't that good, I'm assuming his mod on his first skill will be pretty good because it's the only damaging skill he has in his kit, so they usually make it pretty good. He still has a shield option and a strength buffing option, which is really good. Um, the SP cost on that isn't too high, especially for a buffing skill. It's only like 5k, or closer to 6k, but still, it's not terrible. 
and this is around 20k which is kind of bad or 2 2k which is kind of bad but we're gonna have to see how this goes but this one uh, but yeah I like this I wish this was a spell shield I want them to slowly work spell um, not that special life shields into every element that they have so I'm hoping they do that at some point uh, the dragon haste and flame equals HP pretty normal uh, his skill haste was upped by 5% so it doubled the skill haste that he gets pretty good uh, he has potent stun res and normal stun res which fills out his kit do have 100% stun res so yeah pretty basic mana spiral uh, Vanessa definitely seems like the star of this but all in all pretty decent and pretty good stuff but that's gonna be it for me from today that's all the information we have I will be posting some of the videos I've been talking about recently in other videos I will also be doing a uh, surprise video uh, in collaboration so I look forward to that when that comes out no more information is going to be said about that but thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time